Hello everyone, Attorney Davis Yance here. I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about three things every veteran should know before they apply for a military records correction or a discharge upgrade. The first thing you should know is that your first application is probably your best chance of getting a successful outcome. It's important that if you're going to invest the time and energy into applying for an upgrade or a records correction, that you do it right the first time. And for that reason, I advise many veterans, depending on their situation and circumstances, to consider hiring an experienced attorney so that they can take advantage of that first and best opportunity to get their record fixed or get that discharge upgrade. The second thing every military veteran should know is that you are fighting a bureaucracy when you apply for a record correction or an upgrade. Each of the branches of the military receives thousands of applications every year, and when they receive those applications, you're fighting the bureaucracy and the inertia of just that processing that many applications. Applications are lost, things can happen with your record, and frankly, many records are just turned away because there isn't or there doesn't appear to be on first look that sufficient evidence that the board is looking for when it comes to a records correction or an upgrade. So because of that, because of the bureaucracy and the sheer number of applications, many people with good cases that do uh, deserve and should receive a discharge upgrade or a record correction don't receive it simply because of the bureaucracy. The third thing you should know is this. When the board reviews an application, they look at two things. They look at what they call propriety, that is legal or procedural errors. The other thing they look at is what's called equity. That means what is fair, what is just. So when you're preparing an application for an upgrade or trying to correct your military record, both of those arguments, both of those things should be part of your petition. It should be a petition that emphasizes where there were legal errors, if there were legal errors in your case, and second, where justice and equity uh, demand an upgrade or record correction. An example of that is veterans who are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. If you've been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and that was a contributing factor in your um, uh, misconduct leading to an error in your medical records or alleged misconduct or the reason that you received an unfavorable service characterization when you were discharged from the military, that's something that the board needs to know and you need to provide them proof. So. Those are three things that every veteran should know before they apply to the board. You should know that uh, you're facing a huge bureaucracy, that your first application, your first chance at this is typically your best chance, and finally, that the board's gonna look at two errors, not just legal error, but they will also look at notions of fundamental fairness and justice. So if you are a veteran who has errors in your military records or you're considering applying for a discharge upgrade, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to discuss your situation with you, take a look at your records, and talk about your options.